Okay, in this tutorial, we are just gonna get in deep on the boundary tools of bar surfacing here. So, in the first place here, I just modeled my boards, and as you've seen, I have a creases and this subdivision lines going through this surfaces, and it's taking this curved shape. If I just convert this now, I'm not having an ability to coloring the decreased line just I did. So when you when you see now right here, if I just need to color any face of this, I'm just taking a big bunch of faces. So how we can avoid this here comes the boundary tools. So if I just need first to adjust about this crease only so I'm gonna just select it this face is here okay let's say like that and I'm gonna go to boundary tools and press on boundary then I can go to the boundary tools here from this menu and you got this small menu here so now the face group number two is what I just selected and number zero is the whole body so as you see if I just hide number zero group you're gonna see the number two is what I just selected now let's select this face loop also and create a boundary so this is gonna be defining the boundary this one I'm gonna clear the boundary I just selected and this one I'm gonna clear all so I'm just gonna define this now I have now new group of faces and what else if we just go back and close this convert so you got here the crease part I just selected and you get also all the faces I just selected and including this so if I just get a new color to this boards you can see now it's looking perfect I can change this to another color maybe maybe the blue So if you just look at how it's just change it. So what if I need to change it more? So the boundary tools benefits it's decreasing the number of lines here, so it's give you clean faces after converting, and it's also giving me more easier way to control the selection of the faces. So if I just select all of this around the crease. I just selected before you can go to boundary directly from here or I can go to boundary tools and select it from here so now if I just convert it you're gonna see more cleaner faces okay so as you see in here now every face I just selected just created so now I can control how much I need to select without any problems. Okay, let me just go back here to this trim and re-edit it. So I'm gonna pick this trim tools with this face and tell him to keep it. Now everything looks great again and that's how you can just use the boundary now what if I just need to delete some boundaries so I can easily go to the boundary tools select any phase group I need and it's also helpful if you just need to select any faces quickly without re selecting them manually so if I just selected this phase group or maybe this one and I need to clear this boundary okay now I just deleted. Let me just go back to see the changes. 
Oh, it's not a bit of changes because if I just selected the faces around it. And as you see here, if I just go back, we have the last thing and it's clear all boundary. So if I just selected this, it's become to its original state. So that is all about the boundary tools. I hope you just enjoyed this tutorial. Goodbye.